okay folks uh, what came today was the laser rangefinder for the one leaf and the 200 so if you've just got a standard one like I have you can upgrade it with the LRF later on so basically it fits to the front of the camera it slots in there it comes with an allen key and an allen bolt of course a spare allen bolt they got two two allen bolts <coughs> so that fits on the front tightened on <coughs> so that's the LRF attached it's got three pins on the inside to connect to the internals on the uh, NV200 binocular comes with a cleaning cloth and it's just cleaning the front of that <coughs> then what you need to do is zero in the laser okay then this is a view through the one leaf nv200 now what you'll find is you'll see things on the on the viewing screen that you won't see when on the playback and that'll be things such as at the top left hand corner the uh, recording uh, times and everything and you won't see the rangefinder results either so what I'm doing I'm filming it through my uh, phone camera so you can see what you get now just between the two lenses you'll see a rubber cover that, that is covering the laser well one press of the power button when it's switched on will turn on the laser rangefinder and you can see at the top right hand side there's a little uh, like a golfing flag and you'll see that little yellow box so I point that more or less down there and turn on the laser You can see next to the flag, it's reading off the measurements in yards. 21.65 to the wall. I can't quite see that through the... Uh... But yeah, you get the idea. That is a laser. Uh... Oh. Press the... We'll probably see it better now in black and white. Yeah, I can see it's 15 yards. That's a tilt back, constantly sending the beam down there. So if we go to the wall, it's 22.2 yards. Now, what I can do, I can press the menu button we'll just turn the IR off press the button to turn the, the uh, rangefinder off and I'll go to menu yeah, I'll just turn the recording off and it'll probably work then so press the menu the menu's come up 
So what I want to do now is go down to unit. So I'm using the up and down arrows. Go to unit, press OK. You can choose between yards and meters. So for this point we'll go down to meters, press OK. Press the menu button again. Uh, press the power button to switch on the uh, laser range finder. And if you look now, it's saying 20 meters. And as I move it around, you'll see that it's constantly uh, sending out the rangefinder distance. And that will work out quite some distance, actually. <clears throat> so, if I go to the roof over there. So there it is anyway. Uh, so pointing that post, it's only 7.9 metres away. Look. So there we go. That is the view through the laser designator. So, so I say press the power button that switches it on and off. We've also got a picture in picture screen there that you can't see on the playback but you can see on this. I think I put my focus out a bit. But you get the idea. You've got a picture in picture, so press the PIP button and it goes off again. So that is the laser range finder fitted onto a basic uh, MV200 that you can upgrade with around $150 for the rate range finder. So, uh, what you do need to do. When you fitted it on, you need to align the rangefinder laser indicator. So, you make sure that picture in picture is turned off and the device is switched to black and white mode before you handle the following steps. Once you've done it a few times, it's not too bad. So uh, that is the LRF on the NV200. Uh, one leaf has now bought out the 50 millimeter lens. I'll be buying that one, and uh, we'll see how much uh, clear we get at night time. So, so uh, as the different lenses come out, I'll I'll be getting them, and we'll see uh, what difference it makes to the uh, binoculars. But superb piece of kit. Uh, well recommended and uh, that's it for now until the next uh, part will be uh, when I get uh, a different lens for it and I'll show you how that works so uh, 
thanks for watching uh, you'll probably see the zeroing in a bit I did with the uh, T20 but uh, that's it for now thanks for watching and I'll see you soon